Hello everyone, uh, my name is He Li, I'm a fifth year PhD student at Rutgers. Uh, my research interest lies in cybersecurity. I examine uh, extensively its association with various stakeholders, including like investors, management, and the regulators. This study that I'm going to talk about today is about external auditor and uh, cybersecurity. I co-authored this paper with a uh, professional, uh, which is, who is our faculty member, and Efren Boris, who is a professor from University of Waterloo. Uh, the motivation behind our study is very straightforward. Uh, we saw many high-profile cyber crimes in recent years, and uh, this is not stopping anywhere. Uh, recent statistics actually show that uh, this is getting worse. Uh, cyber criminals are targeting uh, intellectual properties of uh, high-tech firms and also uh, storing, stealing uh, customer data, uh, which will fundamentally affect firms' core value. Regulators, uh, including both the SEC and the PCLB, expressed significant, significant concerns in this field. Uh, they feel that they, they held roundtable discussions regarding its implications, but there is no single requirement or regulation that are passed to regulate whether auditors should be concerned about them or not. Like uh, SEC Commissioner said, uh, the impact of cyber attacks may extend far beyond the direct cost associated with the immediate response to an attack, beyond the unacceptable, unacceptable damage to con consumers. These secondary effects include reputational harm that significantly affects a company's bottom line. So the objective of this paper is to investigate uh, whether external auditors respond to cyber incidents by charging higher audit fees, and whether external auditors can anticipate cyber incidents prior to the event. Uh, we use hacking data uh, from audit analytics that covers the period between 2010 to 2015. Uh, we argue that external auditors should be concerned about cybersecurity due to at least two reasons. One is internal control over financial reporting, and one is uh, material misstatement. Uh, no, matter we, no matter the attack is directly on the accounting system or indirectly, uh, auditors should be concerned because the both attacks, both two types of attacks could suggest the manipulation of accounting data. And in addition, because uh, cyber incidents could increase client uh, business risk, which is a critical determinant of material misstatement, so external auditors naturally should exert additional effort to reduce that risk. And uh, consistent with our hypothesis, we find the positive association between the audit fees immediately after the cyber incidents. We also find that external auditors can differentiate ri cyber risks across industries and can anticipate, I mean, partially anticipate cyber risks at least one year prior to the breach. Our main result is confirmed by a set of robustness tests, including difference in difference, um, a pro propensity score matching, and the various model specifications. Uh, I don't have time to go over these tables, but as you can see, uh, all, on all these tables, our variable of interest uh, breach is significant. Um, we make, uh, we believe, may, we make significant contributions to the literature. First, we fill the gap uh, by linking the relationship between a cyber incident and the external audit. Uh, and this can actually show that a regulator's concern about cybersecurity are well perceived by external auditors. And this can partially alleviate a regulator's concerns. In addition, we contribute to the audit fee literature by identifying one more factor that is valued 
by or that is priced by external audit. And lastly, we contribute to the IT literature by showing an other consequence of cyber incidents. And I, that's all for my presentation. Thank you.